I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. Exam Calculator section. College Board is giving us a rational expression and asking for an equivalent expression. And there's two ways to do this. One is algebraic, another is plugging in numbers. For equivalent rational expressions, I prefer to plug in numbers. I'm going to use x equals zero because I'm really good at zero. I can square zero quickly. I can subtract a number from zero or add a number to zero quickly. We can do zero quickly, so that's a good number to use. With x equals zero, this becomes negative two over negative root two, which is positive root two. And you can check that on your graphing calculator if you need to. At x equals zero, choice A is negative one, which is not correct. Choice B is positive one, which is not correct. Choice C is zero minus negative root two is negative root two, which is not correct. We wanted the positive. And zero plus root two is positive root two. So choice D is the correct answer. In most cases, trying x equals zero, x equals one, or both will tell you which expression is equivalent to a rational expression with College Board questions. And your goal is to find the correct answer. You know it's one of the four choices. So plugging in zero or one or both is a good strategy. Alternatively, you can recognize that the numerator is a perfect square, x squared, minus a number. So you can factor it as x plus root two, x minus root two. And if you check with FOIL, that would be x squared minus root two x plus root two x. And those two terms cancel, and then minus two. So it simplifies to x squared minus two. That's the correct factorization. And that's over x minus root two. Any expression over itself is one, so this simplifies to x plus root two, and that is the answer I found by plugging in zero. Both methods are correct. Both are reasonably quick. Choose the one that you're more comfortable with. And come back soon with my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.